subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a few things. First and foremost, I'm showing you how to use the disk cleanup tool in Windows 10. The other thing I wanted to do is show you how to optimize your hard drives and how to use the disk defragmenter tool to make your hard drives more efficient. Before I continue today, what I want you to do is um, please like this video, please subscribe this to this channel, uh, please share my videos, I would do appreciate the support and please comment below if there's any other videos or help you need and I will try my best to make those videos for you to help you out. So the first thing, disk, the disk cleanup tool in Windows 10. I've got my computer open up here, I've got the operating system Windows 10 and it's the pro version this um, technique works on the other versions of Windows 10 as well so I've got my computer up here I've got two hard drives I've got my C drive and I've got an E drive here as well and I've also got a blu-ray disk drive as well on my C drive is where my operating system is installed now that's the one I'm going to focus on for the purpose of today's video that's the one we're going to focus on and to to use the disk cleanup tool so I've got 31.2 gigabytes free if I right click that it will open up a drop down uh, menu and um, if you scroll down on that drop down menu to properties here it will take you to another uh, pop-up box here um, these are the properties of my C drive and you've got a few tabs at the top. Um, what I want to do is focus on the general tab here. Now there is a button under the general tab called disk cleanup. I've already used this process today um, so you might see it might not free enough or uh, as much space as you want it to free up. Um, so if I click on the disk cleanup button it will open up another pop-up box this is the disk cleanup pop-up box now here it will show you a number of options now on the right side it will show you the space of those categories and how much uh, space those categories are taking up so for example temporary internet files 722 kilobytes of data is being used up by the ten temporary internet files that that's how how much temporary internet files are on um, on my disk at the moment. So here you got delivery delivery optimization file, 64 kilobytes, not a, you know not a lot, and 2.66 megabytes of temporary internet data or files there. Once you've selected all the ones you want to get rid of, okay. So here we are have all the ones selected on the left, and the amount of space is going to free up at the moment. 9.45 megabytes of, of space is going to be freed up. Remember, I've already used this cleanup today, so it's not a, um, a best example I'm showing you, but I'm just showing you how to use the process of using disk cleanup if you haven't used this before. Once you're happy with all the selection you have made, click on OK, and it will run. It will ask you a prompt question. Are you sure you want to permanently delete those files click on delete files and it will go through the process of deleting those files in those categories which you have selected once it's done it will go back to the screen so we're just waiting a few minutes for it to be done A few more minutes. Let's get rid of some thumbnails. It's cleaning up some thumbnails as you can see here, and it's done. Now, once you're happy with it, click on OK, and we're done. That's it, we've done it. Now, there are system files which weren't on that list which we need to clean up as well. Say, for example, you've updated your Windows. What Windows does, it leads, leaves some uh, files on your computer system which are not always detectable. We need to delete those Windows update um, installation files, they're called. If you go to right-click, go to Properties, 
go to disk clean up again now this time we want it to clean up our system files okay which include these windows update installation files or whatever system files it's got stored in your hard drive or on your hard drive click on that and it will go through the same process it will, it will be scanning your computer it will be scanning uh, your computer for Windows update files or whatever now here is if if you can see um, it's added some more categories to this disk cleanup properties box so you've got a category now which says Windows update cleanup which is checked if you notice 55 megabytes of space is being taken up by the Windows update cleanup which is not a lot in the grand scheme of things but it can add up say for example you're doing update after update after update and you don't go through this process it will add up this space this space will get bigger and bigger and bigger and you will notice your hard drive space getting less and less and less if you're not continuously running this process on your PC so I want to get rid of also the window error reports here um, and if there's any other sections which spa with space on there temporary internet files and my thumbnails once you once you're happy with that click on ok it will ask you the same question again click on delete files and it will run through the process uh, for you deleting those files in those categories which you have selected and we might need to wait a bit And there we have it that's a quick process so it's got rid of those files okay and once you're happy just click on OK and there we have it so that's the cl disk cleanup tool we've just shown you how to free up unnecessary files or space on your hard drive and how to access system files and getting rid of Windows update installation files X Y and Z now we're going to focus on how to optimize your hard drive further analyzing your hard drive and using the defragmenter as well okay so optimizing meaning making your hard drive more efficient quicker to load up programs and applications so highlight your hard drive right click go to properties again you notice the tabs at the top you want to choose the tab which says tools click on tools now there's two options in there there's the error checking option where you can check your hard system errors but the one we're going to focus on in this video is the one that says optimize and defragment your drive optimizing your computer's drives can help it to run more efficiently so what I'm going to do is click on optimize here now once I've done that it will open up this pop-up box here now this pop-up box will show you all the drives which you have installed on your computer so I've got my C drive I've got my E drive I've got my system reserve uh, which is part of my C drive. Now, obviously, I've already run the defragmented re defragmentation process this morning, uh, so that's why it's going through the defragmentation process at the moment, trying to make my E drive more efficient. What I'm going to do for the purpose of this video is show you how to optimize and defragment your drives uh, to make them more efficient. So, I highlight my drive I want to optimize, this one notice I've already been through the process today so it's okay at the moment uh, it was zero days since last retrib so I'm going to optimize it just click on the button optimize and it will go away and it will trim optimize your hard drive um, to make it more efficient so that's C drive done um, notice here um, I want to defragment my E drive okay it's currently going through the process at the moment let me stop the process um, and let me run through that process again it, it doesn't mean I'll have to go through the process again but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this video I'm just showing you how to do this let me optimize it and it will go through and optimize the hard drive so it will go through it's quite a big hard drive um, I think it's uh, 1.52 terabytes of space in there so it will take time the bigger the hard drive the longer it will take 
to defragment and hard drive. So once it's optimized it, it will go through the process of defragmenting your hard drive to try and make it more efficient. And now there's um, lots of different stages to this, but the good thing about Windows 10, you can close this uh, window and it will just continue to run the process in the background to try and make your hard drive more efficient meaning you can open up things faster you can access files quicker as well okay so that's what efficient efficiency means in terms of your hard drive now if you can see there it's now it's done the process it's going through and consolidating um, the optimization or the defragmentation process for you so that's just a quick and easy video showing you a few things how to use a disk cleanup tool in Windows 10 to get rid of unnecessary files how to get rid of the Windows system files after you've been through updated processes in Windows and how to opt some optimize your hard drives how to optimize it analyze it and go through the defragmentation process so I'm just going to click on close here and the process is still going to continue to run in the background it's not a problem I click on OK and the process will still continue to run in the background let me show you right click again properties go to tools go to optimize you can see that process is continuing to run it's running and it's 7% consolidation there so click on close click on OK I hope this video has helped you I hope you understand the importance of getting rid of unnecessary space on your hard drive how to access those window update installation files getting rid of those and how to optimize and defragment your hard drive, meaning making your system more optimized uh, meaning it the hard drives are more efficient and open up run files and apps quicker hope this video has helped you please like please subscribe to my channel uh, please comment below of any future videos you want me to do. Take care. Bye-bye then.